Track announcer here is Greg Young. The world record is so fresh and shady daisy, 153 and three. And the Northfield Park track record, Yankee co-ed, 155 and one. Up for the call of the Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Pace, here's Greg Young. The Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Pace is on its way, so fresh, first away along the inside. Draws out, has a lead three quarters of a length. Simply ravishing is racing a second, moving up rapidly to take that third spot is coming wound. They race into the back stretch as they go off the curve. So Fresh and John Campbell out there by two. Simply ravishing is second, a length and three quarters. Common Wound sits third. Further back, Hop Irish is four. It's Express Gate fifth, racing six. There's a loving success. Then comes Hazelton K, your early trailers, Lady Joanna. They pass the opening quarter mile in 28 and two fifth seconds. Pacing into the fire turn the first time. And it's so fresh, on top, cutting that pace, has that lead a length and a half. Simply Ravishing is still sitting second, right there to be third is coming wound. Now looking to the outside, Hop Irish also off the rail. His express gave a loving success, then it's Hazelton Kay and Lady Joanna. Down they come to the halfway point of the race. It's so fresh, she's out there a length and three quarters. Simply Ravishing is right there, looking her over, second a length and a half, coming around third. Hop Irish on the move outside, fourth. Express Gate is fifth, followed by Hazelton K. They're halfway home in 58 and 3 fifth seconds. Around the club turn they go their final time as they race into the back stretch. And it's still so fresh as they lead a length and a half. Simply ravishing, second and neck on the outside. Hop Irish third. In along the rail, holding out of that full spot is come on one along the outside express gate. Then it's a loving success. Hazelton K and Lady Joanna. They're over at the three-quarter mile mark of the race. So fresh takes them there a length in 128. On the turn, they're coming home as they make the swing. A bunny outside now. Here comes Hop Irish to challenge. Simply ravishing. Locked in thirds, looking for racing room. Around they come for the top of the stretch. And it's so fresh. She's got it a length and a half. In the lane they come. Simply ravishing along the inside. And on the outside, Hop Irish now roaring in the passing lane, trying to make it up. Here comes coming one as they come to the wire. So fresh will win the Breeders' Crown in 156. So it's so fresh, your race winner, driven to victory by John Campbell. She has been phenomenal this year, eight in a row now, 15 for 19, and she does it wire to wire in impressive fashion. So fresh, the three-year-old filly by log out of the Albatross mare, Viking Treasure. Bruce, even though it's a bit chilly tonight, the uh, track is fast, and uh, so fresh got away with some moderate fractions here, and as they turn for home, John Campbell just urging her on a little bit now, just showing her the whip a bit and uh, holding off, simply ravishing on the outside, and then come unwound, also getting a good rail trip, try to close at the rail, as she did last week in the elimination, but uh, so fresh would not be denied picking up this Breeders' Crown victory tonight. When a horse is dominant as this filly is, it's very, very difficult to challenge early or at any time in the mile as far as that goes. And when they finally did mount challenges late in the stages, this filly just was too strong for them as she has been in all of her recent starts. So fresh, owned by Brittany Farms, that's George Siegel again, bred by Richard Kaufman and trained by Bob McIntosh. Driven to victory by John Campbell, capturing the three-year-old filly Payton Northfield Park in Ohio. On Lake Erie, the winner so fresh with John Campbell driving and so fresh going on to victory and continuing the mastery over the other Phillies. The winning driver is John Campbell, who captured his 22nd Breeders' Crown title tonight. And John has joined Gary Seibel and myself down here in the paddock, front paddock area. And John, first of all, how would she rate as far as the Phillies you have driven in your career? Well, she definitely rates right up there. Any, it's hard to compare them from different eras, but any filly that dominates the way she has all year, you know, they have to be considered uh, at the top level. John, so fresh had the rail tonight. What kind of an advantage is that here at Northfield Park, the home of the flying turns? Well, it, it's a big advantage, but she had the rail because she earned it from last week's win. It isn't like she drew the rail. She, she earned it from last week's win. And she is very intimidating from the rail because she can leave the gate so well. And she can race in front and, and have a great deal of pressure and still hang on to win. We're going to take a look at the race shortly, John, going to the three quarters. You looked like you were in full command right from the outset. Well, once nobody left, I, I felt very confident uh, going around the first turn. All she needs is a little breather sometime during the mile. And when I got the second quarter in like that, you know, she's just too strong when, when the race goes her way like that. What were you thinking right here? You must have known that Hop Irish was on the outside and Simply Ravishing was there and come unwound. What, just, what were you thinking at this point? Well, I just didn't want anybody to pop out and sprint by her. Uh, I wanted to make sure she was started 
up coming into the stretch. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for uh, Silent or Simply Ravishing. I've seen her go some big trips, and I, I just wanted to make sure she didn't pop out and brush by us. Well, John, once again, congratulations. We're doing this an awful lot. Now, 22nd Breeders' Crown win. Congratulations to you and all the connections are so fresh. All right, thanks very much. Let's take a look now at the final order of finish. By the way, the last loss for So Fresh was August 29th of Simply Ravishing. So Fresh, time at a mile, 156 flat. Come unwound second, Simply Ravishing third. Hop Irish finished fourth. Loving Success was fifth. Lady Joanna, Express Gate, and Hazelton K. Stan Berkstein, we've seen some very good fillies during our Breeders' Crown season, and where does she rate in your mind? I don't know that where she rates in my mind overall because it's difficult because of her dominance over this field. You have to get some competition that people can try someone before you can evaluate a horse, and this filly has just stand, stood out so definitely over what she's been racing against that it's hard to really put her in. She's a, obviously a top-notch filly, as John says. And clearly a case of divisional honors once again tonight. Well, there's not much question about that. She is home free. George Siegel, one interesting thing about it, you know, buying yearlings, Bruce, in racing is equivalent to arbitrage or dealing in futures in the stock market. And Mr. Siegel is a commodities trader. He only gave $22,000 for this filly as a yearling. He gave $105,000 for Western Hanover, whom we're about to see. He gave $210,000 for the dam or mother of Arts Place, his horse of the year this year, undefeated in 16 start. He rolls the dice pretty good, and he comes up with good ones at the lower level as well as the top one.